Okay, let's uh, try to derive the Bessel equation from the recurrence formula. The textbook has a derivation already. Um, there are probably many different ways to derive the same formula, same equation. But uh, I'll uh, present one way that uh, may be slightly more straightforward and, and easier. So you just have to you found your way that you feel uh, more comfortable. Okay, so uh, start with the recurrence formula 14.7 and 14.8. Now we're using the notation for a general vessel function, the vessel function, Neumann function, Panko function, or, uh, and then for uh, integer or non integer order. So that is uh, using the notation Z. So that's uh, 14.7 sub new minus one plus Z new plus one equals to two new X Z sub new. So that's the first one. And then there's the second one. And zero minus one minus zero plus one equals to two. So you find the derivative. Now the of course I will modify basic function but current formula slightly different. Um, then uh, the goal is to show that the uh, z sub mu, the Bessel function, satisfy the formula, the equation, the x square z sub mu of a pi, x z sub mu pi, and then plus x square minus mu square. And z sub mu equal to zero. We want to show that uh, for all new York, obviously. And now the idea is uh, this the second recurrence formula already have pi, so this is z dot j. So general, general better function. So there's already a pi, so you can directly using this into here. And for the C sub new double pi, you can take a derivative this equation and go into here. That uh, that's straightforward. So so well, that's what we'll do. So um, you need to divide it by t. So this the left hand side is equals to the x bar and divide it by two. Um, Sub so mu minus one pi, because uh, that's double pi, you need to take the derivative of that, and then minus mu so plus one pi. So that's the first term. And the second term is, is directly substitute this into here, so that becomes a so mu minus one minus mu so plus one, and the rest is the same. Okay, now these two still have a pi, so you use that again, except that now the order is different. So this is c minus one. So you need to use this as c minus one. If this is c minus one, this becomes z, uh, and then new minus one, this becomes new minus two, and then this becomes new itself because new minus one plus one becomes new back to new. So that is equals the other two, and then actually divided by another two, so it becomes x squared is a four, and then you have c mu minus two, and then this is mu. That's from the, the first term. Go back to here to get this one, and then for this one. 
the change mu to mu plus one. Then the first term here is mu plus one minus one, which is just mu. This becomes mu plus two. And uh, that becomes minus, because there are minus signs or minus c's of mu. And then uh, plus, because the minus minus is plus g is so mu plus t, okay. And then uh, the rest is the same. It's over two, minus one, mu plus one, plus six, minus mu plus one. Okay. Now this seems like a schedule work because this becomes we get involved new minus two order and new plus two order. But uh for well, now and you can try to simplify it. So the first simplification is that this is uh this x square here in front. So and for this term you have x square also. And you can't you can put this term into here, and this is x squared times c sub mu. And this x squared over 4, you add this to here, you plus 4 c sub mu here. And there's minus 2 c sub mu. So all together, you have plus 2 c sub mu. And so basically, you can change the sign of this two. Changes to plus, changes to plus. Okay. And the reason to do that is now you can identify this is these two are plus this one and that one. This is plus this one and that one. Then you can use the first recurrence formula because uh, this is C minus two. This is this is new minus two. And this is new. If you choose new, this one equals new minus one, and new minus one minus one is new minus two. And this is new minus one plus one is new. So this, this is exactly this one. So this two is equals to two times, now this become new minus one, two times new minus one divided by x. And then uh, c is of new minus one, because this become new minus one. And the same case here, this plus that, Except that now this change the new plus one, new plus one minus one is new, and new plus one plus one is new plus two. That change of two over x, uh, new plus one times z to the new plus one. Okay, and both term has a two over x, so you can cancel with this part of that, so it becomes x is of two. Um, the first one is new minus one, z sub new minus one. The second one is new plus one, z sub new plus one. And the rest is, it's uh, down to here, down to here. Okay. Now you, now you realize both of these have the same x over two in front. So you add the two and there's a z minus one, z sub new minus one, there's a c sub new minus one. So this one basically cancel the minus one. So this one can cancel this one. And likewise, there's a c plus one, c sub new plus one, and there's a z sub new plus one. So this one, and so we'll this one. So get rid of this, and both have a new front, and times x over two, and that becomes z new minus one plus, that's z sub new minus one plus z sub new plus one. And that's exactly this one. That gives you a two over x, you can x over two and times new, and you have extra new, so that the first term is just new square c sub mu. And the final term is also new square c sub mu. So okay. 
go through that and then check that the, the left hand side of the substitute in this two. And to here, the left hand side didn't indeed give a zero. So that uh, show that uh, C sub mu satisfied the basic equation. 